Hi, welcome to the boardshop.co.uk surfboard review. Uh, this week, it's the turn of the lost evil twin. A weird looking thing, but a lot of fun. Let's have a quick spin around the board. Um, quite a flat template, um, as you can see. Late bit of nose flip, very little lift in the tail. Uh, but it has got some very interesting features. You can see it's got some thickness to it, but the first thing you really notice about the board is how pulled down the rails are. So BIOS has kept some volume out of the rails to keep the board responsive, lively, um, and fun to surf. You can see, just looking at it now, you can see how flat it is through the middle of the board. So that feature, the flatness is there to give you glide, and to carry speed through poorer sections of the wave. And also, see how straight the rail line is for a board like this. Again, that's to give you speed, glide, drive. <coughs> um, now the problem with that is that normally it stiffens the board up and it makes it harder to turn. So he's introduced another feature called the E-wing. Can you see that there, look? So you've got some extra width in the board, but the rail line carries on and just falls away. So what that, is there to do is to give you width through the back end of the board. Again, that surface area helps you carry speed. But what he's done is he's basically put a super hard rail in there. Now that is to get the board turning, to help it turn, to overcome the extra width and that volume as you go right into that nice rounded tail. So what you've got is a kind of a grovelery type board that will still go when it's rubbish. <coughs> but will work in cleaner, more lined up, punchy waves as well. Normally, when you take a grovel into more punchy waves, it's too slow to get into turns, too hard to get into turns, because you've got too much foam in the rails, it's too wide through the tail, and it's taking too much kind of power to get it moving. But by doing this with this little E-wing, and this sharpened up little rail here, he's giving you that performance level, and then combine that with a paired down rail, and you've got something that's going to perform as well. You're not going to go and charge double overhead reef barrels with it, but what it will do on your home beach break when it's a bit overhead, um, the board will cope with it well. It's got the drive, the speed, and that, with those two features, the ability to get turning and keep you in the pocket and make those little sections. Um, the other super interesting thing about the <coughs> Evil Twin is the fin system. So it's only available in Futures, You've got these two normal side um, fins, and then you've got a long, bo a long board a box in the middle. Uh, the idea is that you can ride it as a straight twin, with uh, like a uh, Futures T1, something like that, with or without a little trailer. Um, Futures have also produced a little finger fin, which sits in here, because it's a normal fin box, a long board fin box fitting, so there's not that many fins that are gonna fit it. Um, but they've produced this little finger fin, which you can then ride with two normal sides uh, to give you that kind of one plus two setup, if you like. Other people are going to ride it as a single fin. If you are thinking single fin, no harm in adding a little bit of volume to the board as well. Another couple of litres, go up an inch or two, because with single fins you generally ride them that tiny bit bigger than you would do uh, like a normal thruster setup. So there are a myriad of fin systems um, which make the board really interesting to surf. So if it is small but clean and you want a bit more glide and what have you, stick like a six inch, six and a half inch center fin in there, uh, an FCS Connect or a Kai Salas, something like that. Um, if you want to serve as a pure twin, go ahead. It gives you all the benefits of the rail to rail, the speed in the more kind of open face, pointy type waves. Um, if you're a thrusters man, then you can set it up as a, as a thruster as well with a FCS to a performer fin uh, in medium, large and extra large with a, fin bo a long board fin box fitting, that would work too. <coughs> so that, you know, you, I could go on for hours and hours about the fin selection. You know what you like. Um, I would reckon for most people, you're gonna surf it as a twin or a twin with that little trailer thruster um, fin at the back rather. Um, so there it is, the Lost Evil Twin. A novel approach as always from Mr. Barlos, uh, but a really good fun board that'll cover you from everything from like thigh high to a foot or two overhead. Um, a really good option. And there it is. As always, online right now, um, you can custom order it, you can park exchange old boards against it, you can buy it on Nord percent Finance, you can just phone us up for a chat about whatever. Uh, you know how it works. Uh, so thanks for watching.